10 Best Life Lessons the Naruto Anime Taught Fans Like most shonen series, Naruto teaches many valuable life lessons to its viewers. How can fans be inspired by this anime's messages? As a long-running and classic shonen series, the Naruto franchise is packed with life lessons, inspiring quotes, relatable characters, and worldly themes from start to finish, greatly enriching a younger viewer's mind and challenge them to reflect on their own lives. Good fiction always engages the reader, and this is a positive way to go about it. The story of Naruto Uzumaki began with hardship and suffering since Naruto himself was widely feared, mistrusted, and even hated as the living container of the nine-tailed fox. But the boy persisted and changed everyone's minds on what he is capable of. Naruto, and many of his friends and even enemies, all have a few great lessons to teach by word or by example. What might they be? 10. Be aware that bright smiles may hide serious pain. Even when Naruto was in the throes of self-doubt, fear, or grief, he never stopped smiling. He's a positive and upbeat sort of fellow. And despite his incredible burdens, he never fails to face the next challenge with a cocky smile and a, let's do it. This proves that a cheery smile or radiant disposition may be hiding serious pain and inner darkness. And a person shouldn't be fooled. Just because someone like Naruto is grinning from ear to ear doesn't mean their life is all sunshine and daisies. Everyone has burdens. 9. There are no shortcuts to your goals. One of the earliest characters introduced was Kano Amaru, the grandson of the third Hokage, Hiruzen Sarutobi. Kano Amaru suffered from being in his grandfather's long shadow. But then he met Naruto and realized that he'd have to quit complaining and start working much harder. Naruto was starting from zero, just like Kanoamaru, and the two boys soon became friendly rivals. Naruto explained that there are no shortcuts to glory and power, and Kanoamaru took that to heart. He can't cheat his way to Hokage status, better roll up his sleeves and get to work. 8. No one's destiny is set. This is a life lesson that gives Naruto and Sarah Connor something in common. Some characters, such as the fatalistic Niji Hyuga, believe that people are born into certain roles or positions in society. And they cannot escape their fate. At its most cruel, this philosophy can be read as, born a loser, always a loser. Naruto feels differently and he encouraged Hinata Hyuga to fight back against Niji's fatalistic words and prove that she can become anything that she sets her mind to. Naruto also proved Niji wrong about Jinchuriki being doomed to a lifetime of fear and hatred. Naruto can gain some upward mobility if he reaches out for it. 7. No one is ever truly alone. Gara of the Sand grew up with even more loneliness than Naruto did, being hated as the one-tailed Shikaku's bearer. This fueled Gara's hate and prompted him to kill other people to prove his existence. But Naruto talked him out of it during their clash in the Chunin exams arc Naruto understood Gara's position but also explained that even he had some friends, such as Iruka Yumino, who was almost like a father figure to him. Then, Sasuke and Sakura joined him as Team 7, creating a new family of sorts with Kakashi. 6. Redemption is always possible. At first, some villains in the Naruto series seemed irredeemable, and some minor villains perished just as evil as before, such as the scheming businessman Gato. But other villains, from the assassin Zabuza to the renegade bearing Nagato, turned away from the darkness. Nagato was responsible for the Leaf Village's destruction, but once he heard Naruto out, he saw hope for the future after all and reflected on his student days with Jiraiya the Toad Sage. Then, despite Conan's protests, Nagato gave his very life to undo all the death and destruction he had wrought. Similarly, Zabuza had his own redemption right before his death on the Great Naruto Bridge. 
5. It's okay if your potential takes time to manifest. In her girlhood, Sakura Haruno felt woefully inadequate as a kunoichi in training, especially compared to the flower-savvy Ino Yamanaka, who was on the ball with just about everything. Sakura felt rather sorry for herself in despair until Ino kindly put things into perspective. To put it in flower terms, Sakura was not a total failure. She was simply a bud that had not yet blossomed into its true self. Sakura simply needed more time and patience to realize her true potential, and all good things come in time. She won't be a bud forever, and neither will anyone else. 4. Quick power always comes at a price. In many works of fiction, villains obtain extreme power up front and pay the price for it later. This is often an analog for real-life criminal activity, which might pay off now, but will cost even more later. Orochimaru is an example of this, as is Abito Uchiha. Sasuke obtained quick power with the curse mark, but his power turned him into a monster and steered him down a dark path. Later, Sasuke obtained new Sharingan eyes from Abito, but this just entrenched his position as a thrall of Abito's and Madara's. He made himself a powerful tool to other people's dark ambitions. Nothing more. 3. Don't get stuck in the past. In a bloody world like this one, most ninjas have seen their friends or family members die on the field of battle and in the pre-village days. This problem was even more acute. Lady Tsunade lost her lover Dan Kato at some point, and the grief hit her hard. Tsunade practically withdrew from the world of ninjas, weighed down by her bittersweet memories of Dan. But this held her back from her potential, and one Tsunade processed her grief. She assumed the mantle of fifth Hokage, striding into a future that Dan would be proud of. 2. Personal loyalty means everything. Ninjas are expected to be most loyal to their village and their mission, willingly abandoning their comrades if the situation calls for it. But Kakashi Hitaki feels differently, and he often repeated Abito's line that ninjas who abandon the mission are trash, but those who abandon their friends are even worse. Of course. This doesn't defend sticking to a dysfunctional or unhealthy relationship for the sake of it. But then again, people greatly value trust, loyalty, and reliability in others, and rewarding friendships based on trust and cooperation can get a person quite far in their lives. Often in unexpected ways. 1. You can never dream too big. It's true that people should know their limits and know when to cut their losses, but as a whole, it can really pay off to dream big and aspire to greater heights. It could be said that life is too short to spend time on simple, minimally rewarding goals and interests. There is much more to achieve. Dreaming big can greatly motivate a person to pursue that goal and better themselves as people and learn much in the pursuit of that goal. Even if the person falls short of their big dream, they'll have gained a lot on the way there. 